All right, welcome back to Dungeon Dice Monsters by Konami. It's been about a year since the last video and we've played a lot and I've collected a lot of new monsters and cards and we've just had a lot more experience with the game. So today we're gonna play a little game. Hopefully it doesn't go as long as the last time, but we'll see. All right, so I'm gonna take the first move. All right, got a summon on the first roll. And Ooh. I can up summon to a level two. Um, I don't think I will. I think I'm gonna go ahead and stick with that level one and I'm gonna bring out level one. Carbonara Warrior, or Carbonara Warrior, as we like to say here. And, oh, did I get, I think I got a movement crest. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna get a movement crest. And that'll do it for me. Alright, up summon, Knight of Twin Sword, early on. That is a very scary monster. <laughs> okay. Let's see, what do I want to go for? I'm gonna go for some twos, actually. So that one boosts warriors? Yeah, so Knight of 30 attack. Alright, I got a level 2 summon and one magic crest. Here. Level two, I'll go with the Flame Swordsman. That's a new one from the past year. I love the de detail on that one. Hmm? That was it? Yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> all right, is that an up summon? <laughs> and defense. This is what I need. All right, I think it's the Black Wind Fire Dragon. You're going, going straight ahead. That's a little scary. Okay, I think. I'm going for twos again. Ooh. All right, so attack. That's yes. very good. All right, movement and more attack. Movement. Very good. See you in a minute. Mm, I don't think I'm gonna run. I'm gonna summon the Celtic Guardian. And he's got a cool effect. So the Celtic Guardian can spend attack, extra attack crest to increase attack um, to himself. So for every additional attack crest I spend, he gets 10 bonus attack. And I think we've actually uh, refined that so that his effect can only be used once per turn. So he can only spend one additional uh, crest to boost him up by 10 instead of spending five to boost by 50. We thought that was a little too unbalanced. So I'm gonna go ahead and spend two movements. Move right up there. And then I'm gonna spend uh, one attack crest to attack and I'm going to spend an extra attack crest to boost him by 10. So that actually puts my Celtic Guardian at a total of uh, 40 attack. Mm, so I'm dead. Yeah, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah, he gets a baseline of 20 plus 10 for, from Carbonara. Okay. And then the extra 10. So that was a quick slaying of the dragon. That could have been bait, but she's got no... 
movement or attack right now, so I think I'm safe. So, that'll do it for me. Summon. Okay. All right, pair of dragon I'm building out to the side. No, well, I guess you can't do anything. I can't really do anything <laughs> except defend. All right. I'm gonna take a page out of your book. I'm gonna try to get that up somewhere. Oh, well, there's some defense. So that's something. And one movement. Alright, I gotta summon and more defense. Um, yeah, I'm going to bring it out. Time Wizard. That one's neat. Yeah. Uh, and I was, I love this one. Um, it's not great after you bring it out, but it's got a cool effect. So when he's summoned, I can destroy any monster on the field with the lowest attack power. And currently, the, the lowest monster other than him is Parrot Dragon. So, yeah, let's say goodbye to him. Time Magic. It's gonna be a sad game. <laughs> <laughs> but after that, he's actually just. He's got zero attack, though. So he can't do anything else after that. Um, can I have two? Yep. Double magic. Ooh, no summon. Not good for momentum. Um, since we're kind of we're not under any pressure right now, I think I'm actually gonna build up some utility. Alright, got some movement and magic. One magic. Oh, no summon. All right, well, I guess that kind of evens up the momentum. Um, I will... I'm going to move my Celtic Guardian back two spaces. I want to make sure he's all right. And that'll do it. I don't even have any movement. <laughs> I know, but twin swords can move blazing fast. A lot of attacks. So. That's enough. <laughs> All right, okay. summon and movement. Okay. Ooh, thousand dragon. That is a big guy, but he requires the cost of three crests to be summoned. He's got yeah. an amazing stat line of 20, 30, 20 on a level 2. And... Gotta leave that. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna go for 2s. Wow. That, no is, twos. that is so good. Well, I didn't get a summon, but this game is built upon having movement. <laughs> All right, that's probably the best roll I could have done. <laughs> Summon and maxed out my movement. That's that way. And now I'm glad I spent those last two uh, in the previous turn. All right, let me go ahead and fill this hole here just so nothing happens and you build around me. And I'm going to summon Gear Freed the Iron Knight. Good 
defensive monster. Um, I'll move him back one space. So I'm going to spend, what is that, one, two, three, four, five movement. going to use his uh, attack and use his effect to boost him. So with 40, that will take care of your 20 health, 20 defense. Okay. Dang, Celtic Guardians putting in work. Alright, go ahead. Oh, level 3's in movement. This game can easily uh, change in advantage. Wow. Two, three, seven, but two movements really good. All right, Bill, right next to my Celtic Guardian, and it's Buster Blader. And move two. A massive 50 attack with Carbon Nala Warrior on the field, and that is not even able to defend against that. Celtic Guardians, measly 10 defense, 10 HP. He's a glass cannon, but got two monsters off the field. Or, yeah, two monsters off the field, so I think okay. that was a good trade. Alright, I'm gonna need to, need to get a good roll if I'm gonna swing the tide back in my favor. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and go for twos. Attack and movement, so that's good, but I need a, need a monster to pair with that. Oh. Alright, two magic and two attack. No monster this turn, but hopefully next turn. Got a good amount of crest built up. I do want to say um, we have a house rule that we're uh, implementing starting now that um, either player during their turn can trade four crests for any one of their choice. That's just to help the game uh, move along instead of just two people rolling dice and not getting what they need. Um, and that's also just so that both players don't have to play Yoranzo on their team. Uh, we have more monster div diversity. All right, and Satsu, the monster negator. I hate that guy. I don't have any trap though. Not yet. God, I can't. Oh, I could get over there. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Have to get really lucky on rolls. All right, I'm gonna go for twos again. Movement, attack. Summon and one more magic. Do you have anything that uses magic? I do, and it's the one that I think is pretty, pretty strong. I'm put it over here, nice and safe. And this is probably like the crown jewel of my collection. I have the graceful dice. Um, so Graceful Dice can spend four magic to target one of my monsters and roll a die. And then that monster's attack will be increased by that die roll times ten. So he can pump up my guys a lot. Um, however, we do have a house rule that kind of balances it where we've doubled the amount of crests required. So he typically requires four as printed on the card, but we've made it so that it costs eight magic crests to use. Um, 
because it's essentially letting any one of your monsters one-shot something. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to save that for right now. I do have eight, uh, nine crests built up, but I'm just going to save that effect when I need it. Oh, God. <laughs> Jeez. That's um, the third time I wrote that. Yeah, threes are supposed to be hard to get. <laughs> Thunderball. I'm gonna use the three. Oh no. I know straight for it. Alright, so the Thunderball, for anybody who doesn't know, but if you play DDM you should know. You can spend three magic to bowl straight ahead in any direction. Any monster it runs into is automatically destroyed. One of the most unfair monsters in the game, in my opinion, and I'm sure everybody else's. Let's see. You know, I'll go for threes myself. Good luck. Movement attack. Oh, I got it. First try. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to clean up like your border now. I wanted it to be a quick game, but this is just too good. Uh -oh. I'm gonna bring out the Judge Man, who is kind of on par with Buster Blader in terms of attack power. His uh, baseline stats are 20, 40, 10, and he'll get the Carbonala boost to go up to 50. So I'm gonna spend one, two, three, four movement. I'm gonna walk right up, and I'm gonna smack him. 350 attack. Uh, Buster Blader only has uh, 10 defense, 30 HP, so that'll be more than enough to take him out. Sorry about that. Are you? Hmm, not really. Uh, I'm also going to move two with my Flame Swordsman. And I'm gonna spend the eight magic uh, for the graceful dice. So let's roll the graceful dice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> we have a 90 attack Flame Swordsman this turn. So, yep, I'm going to deactivate the bomb and get him out of here. All right. See, and that is the power of Graceful Dice. Even with a, his uh, effect costing double the amount of crests, I still think it's probably one of the strongest effects in the game. But let me know your guys' opinion. You've killed half my team. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wind Swords in a Dream. No movement in defense. Okay. You got those four rolls on different uh, different rolls. Okay, I'm gonna use three movement. Which move six. Uh -oh. <laughs> I mean, may as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so I have. You said he's a ten. Yeah, 10, and 10 defense, 20 HP, so you have 30, so you actually need to hit him twice. Okay. So the way that we've uh, worked out in Twin Swords is that the attacker will declare how many attacks they'll do, and then the defender will then be able to choose to defend or not. Um, 
So in this case, Twin Swords uh, will need to attack twice to kill my Judge Man. So she will go ahead and um, use two attack crests to attack twice. And since I'll die anyway, I'm not going to defend. So Judge Man has been defeated. Nice. And that is the power of Twin Swords. Alright, let me go for threes. Oh, got him. And some trap. Two traps. Alright, two more traps and another movement. Alright, is this gonna be the game? Let's see. Let's go for the game. You're gonna end it here? Um you know, it's been fun, but maybe. Uh uh. You just overlapped. Oh! Amateur mistake. Capital T should work there. There we go. Alright. Another starter deck monster the Strike Ninja, who can move three spaces per one crest spent and can become invulnerable for a turn by spending three trap crests. So let me see, how far am I? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, I'm one space uh, short since we play that you have to go exactly the amount uh, spent. So. 13 spaces, I'll spend 4 movement. And I will dash all the way up to our monster lord. Just short of attacking. And then I will end my turn there. This is going to be a fourless game. Sometimes you get it your first roll, sometimes you'll never get it. Okay. Um, use five movement to go in front of Carbonara. Alright, you're going on the offensive. Yeah. Okay, so ten spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take him out? Yeah. Okay. There goes our warrior boost. What's um, Strike Ninja? Strike Ninja is a 2020-10, and I do have his trap ability. However, I know you have a trap ability of your own, which I actually didn't think about. 2020-10. That's exactly what I have. Okay. I'm going to spend three movements. And kill attack you. Okay, so twenty twenty ten. Yeah. Hey. All right. Uh. Well, I mean, I guess I might as well. I'm gonna try to use my trap ability to become invulnerable. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> Yeah, so Insassi stops it. So one attack puts Strike Ninja down to 10 HP. Did you defend that one? That I attacked you with? Yes. I that changed things a little <laughs> that, bit. <laughs> that changed a lot of things. Um, I think I have to go for the fours. <laughs> Four <laughs> movement. <laughs> Jeez, that's a lot of movement. Okay, I'm gonna spend six movement here, and I'm going to attack. That's your attack? 20. Okay. So you take 10 damage if you choose to defend. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be done that too. Alright. And then I will spend 
two, three movement. I'm gonna dash away. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Attack. Yes, single attack, double movement, single trap. Two defense. Okay, um, I'm gonna move three regular movement to your monster guy. Okay. And attack. Alright, so I've taken one point of damage. Um, that's it. I have no I really need some movement and a monster right now. Wow. <laughs> Maxed out my attack. Hmm, no monster. No movement. I got a magic though. <laughs> Alright, um, well, I have to just to try to burn a crest. I'm going to attack with my monster lord with 10 damage, or 10 attack. Okay. Okay. Um, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, how could I use? How could, how could I use? <laughs> you know what? I'm not going to give up. Don't give up until the last dice is rolled. Three, but that could that could be good. Okay. What is that going to do? Um, he he can heal my own guys. Um, and he's got twenty attack. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think that could be it. I will move one and I'll attack. Okay. So you take another 10 damage. Mm -hmm. So I have 10 health left. Yep. And unfortunately, Monster Lord only has 10. So. And I can defend it? Yep. I'll pass it to you for the final turn. Wow, what a throw, guys. I took out two of her big threats, but that twin sword is just always gonna, always going to be a problem. All right. I didn't expect that. <laughs> I, I, I think I jumped the gun, running right up to your monster lord. I used up a lot of crests, but um, you know it has been a little while since we played, so I was a little rusty. And it was, I. I had to decide if I was gonna go try and stop you mm -hmm. over there or just like yeah. take the chance with them. And I think that paid off. Definitely. Congrats. You are the victor today. <laughs> uh, glad we got to show off a lot of these cool new monsters that I got over the past year. Uh, definitely put a lot into collecting all these. Uh, it's kind of slowed down now just because these I'm at the point where uh, getting things that I don't already have is really expensive, but thanks for watching. Uh, if you've been waiting patiently for a year, there you go. Um, yeah, see you guys in 2024.
good one. 